Mallorca is a beautiful island off the coast of Spain, filled with amazing views, fantastic wine, incredible food, and great attractions. It's a perfect escape from the hustle and bustle of everyday life, which is why it's a popular destination for people from all over the globe. Join us as Vucation presents the best things to do in Mallorca, Spain. Explore Palma. Odds are good that you arrived in Mallorca by way of the capital, Palma, and you should definitely resist the urge to immediately go wandering off to the more remote parts of the island. That's because Palma is a fantastic city filled with wonderful attractions and neighborhoods. You'd be wise to spend at least a couple of days here, as there's a lot to take in. It's a blend of modern flavor with parts of the town that are distinctly old world. In particular, Old Town Palma is a great place to wander around. It's filled with cobblestone streets and buildings that have been there for centuries. The colorful buildings have Juliet balconies in front of casement windows, giving the whole area an almost medieval feel. La Lonja is another neighborhood with a similar vibe, and you'll find yourself snapping endless photos of the historic and quaint vibe of both areas. And outside of these two neighborhoods, Palma offers a ton of great food, shopping, nightlife, and sights. One great option is to buy tickets for an open-top bus that hits up all the major spots in the city. You can buy passage aboard the Palma City sightseeing bus and spend your time being shuttled around, rather than expending too much energy on your own feet. What's great about this particular bus tour is you can buy tickets and they're good for a full 24 hours. So that means you can hop on and off whenever and wherever you like, and then jump back on later in the day for no additional charge. Plus, seniors and kids pay half price to ride. Shop until you drop. While you're in Palma, you should definitely take a look at some of the many incredible stores and shopping opportunities that the capital city has to offer. Palma is far more than a quaint and historical town. It's also a hub of fashion, and you'll find clothes from all the major designers in the stores around town. The best places to explore are the Paseo del Born and the Avenida Jaime III. But even the alleyways and smaller streets that connect and wind around these two main streets are full of amazing shops for people of all sizes and budgets, so you'll have a great opportunity opportunity to take home your new favorite outfits. Take a train to Soyer. Once you've had your fill of Palma, we'd suggest checking out a train ride to the rural town of Soyer. It's a great way to feel like your journey is slowing down, giving you the opportunity to really take in the gorgeous Spanish scenery. The train itself is more than 100 years old and has been fully restored to be able to take passengers safely out of Palma. But it still moves at an old world pace, and its slightly bumpy ride will harken back to train riding days of old. Still, you'll be able to fully enjoy the trip as it winds its way through the forests and over small hills on the way to Soyer. Then, when you get there, you'll be able to spend some time in this quaint country village. It's a great place to stop for lunch or to wander around for a couple of hours. From there, you can also hop aboard a vintage tram that takes you to Port de Soyer and admire the view of the sea. Explore the work of Juan Miró. The Museo Fundacio is a great chance for art fans, and in particular fans of the talented artist Juan Miró, to see an extravagant collection of his work. The building was once his home and studio, and has since been converted into a place that honors his incredible art. Despite being born in Barcelona, Miró moved to his wife's hometown of Palma after they got married, and the couple settled there permanently. Miró specialized in surrealist art, and you can see more than 6,000 pieces of his work in the Museo Fundacio. There are plenty of unfinished works of Miró's, as well as some graphics and sculptures. The building sits high on a hill where you can not only admire the gardens outside, but also the oceans below. The displays of Miro's works are arranged to look as if he was still alive working on them. Specifically, it's meant to look as if he'd been there a moment ago working away before heading down to have some lunch. In addition to Miro's work, the Museo Fundacio also boasts work from other Spanish masters like Salvador Dali and Pablo Picasso. So it's truly a place any art lover should not miss. Before we tell you more about the best of Mallorca, Spain, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Go wine tasting! If you're a fan of wine, you know Spain is one of the best places in the world to discover incredible varietals. On Mallorca, the place to be is the town of Binisalem. It's the hub of all winemaking in the area, and there are some fantastic vineyards and wineries where you can sample the wonderful tastes of the area. The town of Binisalem is charming and worth exploring as you arrive. It's small, but there are some great places to eat, and it has a ton of old world charm. Then you'll want to start bopping around to the local bodegas where you can sample wines from the area. Some of the top ones to try Try our Vins Nadal and Bodegas Oliver, as well as ANA Vins and Cellar Tiana Negre. One thing of note is that Mallorca as a whole has more than 70 of these bodegas offering unique and local wines. Years ago, these bodegas weren't open to tasting and tourists, but in recent years, they've embraced that part of the economy and opened their doors to visitors. Have some fun with the family. 
While Mallorca has an abundance of amazing streets to walk around, museums to explore, and historical buildings to peruse, there are also some great places to go for family fun. The first of these is the Palma Aquarium, which is a great place for kids of all ages to check out sea life and learn about the many species living there. And if you can't get enough sea life, head over to the Mallorca Marineland, an amusement park that boasts a bevy of dolphins, sharks, and sea lions. They have shows with the animals performing tricks the kids will love. And finally, there's the Mallorca Planetarium, where you and the family can learn about the stars in the solar system and potentially beat the heat if you're there during a particularly hot day. Check out the Mallorcan Fine Dining. While there's a ton of great food all over Mallorca, one of the more impressive aspects of the island is how many renowned and Michelin star qualifying restaurants it has. If you're a foodie or just want to be one while on vacation, there are nine restaurants that earned a Michelin star distinction, and you'll have your pick of any of them, provided you check to see if reservations are required. Of course, if you're not looking to spend a pretty penny on a fancy and elegant dining experience, the island offers a ton of great food, highlighting incredible Spanish cuisine at affordable prices. Visit Deia. Dea is a classic Mallorcan town that's a must-visit. You'll love the stone cottages that look virtually honey-soaked in the Spanish sun. Like Soyer, it sits on top of a hill that looks over the coastline, offering stunning views of the sea and other villages below. It's most famous for being the hometown of writer Robert Graves. You can visit his former home while you're there, but then you'll be able to stroll around the charming streets that are chock-full of great restaurants, art galleries, boutiques, and more. You can sit outside and enjoy some coffee or cocktails in one of its darling squares, and then you can walk down the Caladea, the beach area. Dea is a bit of a hidden gem and in recent years has become a go-to for the rich and famous. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever been to Mallorca? Do you plan to go? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.